is execution day for Oba Chandler. He will die this afternoon for killing a woman and her two daughters in the Tampa Bay area in the 80s. Chandler has one final appeal pending in the Supreme Court this morning. All lower courts have already overturned his appeals. Right now, his execution is expected to be carried out this afternoon. Our Ashley Glass is at the Florida State Prison in Stark this morning. She joins us now with more. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Dia. Over Oba Chandler's execution is expected to be carried out at 4 o'clock this afternoon. But watch this. I want to take you back to November 4th, 1994. That's when the judge handed down the death sentence for Oba Chandler. You have forfeited your right to live at all. Accordingly, it is hereby ordering the judge for the murder of Joe Rogers. You will be sentenced to death. The judge continued on with two more death sentences for Chandler. He sexually assaulted and killed a woman from Ohio named Joan Rogers and her two teenage daughters, Christy and Michelle, in 1989. The family was vacationing in Tampa Bay at that time. They stopped to ask Chandler for directions. Chandler invited them on a boat ride, and they went. Their bodies were discovered three days later in Tampa Bay, bound by duct tape and rope. Autopsies indicated the women were thrown into the bay alive. Chandler wasn't arrested until three years later when police put up billboards showing the killer's handwriting. Chandler's neighbor recognized that hand, handwriting and that ultimately helped lead to his arrest. We talked to the victim's husband by phone yesterday. He still lives in Ohio. He said he will not be at today's execution. The prosecutors on the case, they say not only will they be here, they say they wouldn't miss it. I'm Ashley Glass from the Florida State Prison. Back to you.